Dzień dobry, kochani. Uh, my name is Emily. So, uh, I'm very happy to be here to, to share with you uh, the greatest news that have ever been heard on the history of humanity. And this greatest news is that the man has salvation. And this salvation is not through many good works. It's not through uh, going many times to churches or learning the Bible by heart. This uh, great salvation comes only in one way. The only way of the salvation is called Jesus. But it's not just about knowing about Jesus. It's not just about listening about him. It's about really believing in your heart. The way of the salvation is by grace. The word grace means gift. Have you ever received a gift? Receiving a gift is so beautiful because you don't have to pay for it. You can just receive it, right? So this is what salvation is like, is something that you receive without paying. Many times in religion, they tell us that we need to be good enough to receive this gift of, of salvation. They say that we need to be uh, uh, worthy of receiving this salvation. Maybe we feel that we are so bad, so broken inside, so dirty, so sick, so lost, that we feel that God cannot even look at us because we are so bad, so destroyed. Uh-huh. That's how we feel sometimes. And the religion tells you, oh, you're so bad, you cannot come to God. Look at you, who you are. Who do you think you are to come to God? But that's not God. That's not, in this way God loved the world. This is the way he brings salvation to you. Not because of who you are, but because of grace. And how you can receive this gift of grace is by faith. Which means that the only thing that you need to do is to believe. To believe that he died on the cross, that he died for your sins, that by his blood you are, you receive salvation, you are saved from death, that you are born again inside of you, that your spirit is born again inside of you, that, and, and believe that he died for you that to heal you and to set you free. And once you really believe this and you are willing to give your life to Christ, to make him be the Lord of your life, to stop living in independence of doing whatever you want in an empty lost life, even if it might look good, but a life without Christ is a lost, is a lost life. So all what you have to do is to believe in Him and receive this gift of salvation by just believing in Him. Maybe you think you need to do something special, like maybe you, and you know, look, like this little boy. You just need to come to Jesus like a little boy, just believing, just walking to Him and believing in Him, but really believing. Not like a tradition, not to, to look good, to go to church, to, oh, I am so good in church. No, just believe in your heart. And once you believe in your heart and you're willing to change for Him, He will bring salvation to your life by the cross of Jesus. Because you believe in salvation. How many of you here want to receive salvation? How many of you really believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? For your life to set you free, to heal you, to save you from hell? How many of you believe? You believe? Yes? yes. Then come to Christ today and tell him, Christ, I believe in you. I believe that you saved me, that you died on the cross for my sins. And I want to give my life to you. Because it's not just about just pronouncing some words. It's about a change of life. It's about being born again inside of you. You know? And God can, can bring to your life a new life, a new nature. No more lost. Now you will be completely new. 
he made me completely new so he can make you also completely new he bring joy to my life that is a joy that goes uh, that goes beyond and above the circumstances of this world a joy and a, and a safety and a security in me you know he healed me from sick i was so sick i was so lost and he renewed me he make me new i am a new creation because all past things are gone and everything is made new in jesus christ you need to be made new you need to be born again don't go to die don't die without jesus because he paid the price for you for you not to go to hell tomorrow can be too late today is the day that you need to go to jesus and say jesus i need you if you want to pray with us we invite you to come we want to pray for you if you want to say jesus i i need you come we want to pray for you today is the day that you can receive this healing in your body this freedom are you taking pills to sleep are you with the pain in your bones are you receiving a lot of medications from different doctors, from different parts of your body. He paid the price for your healing and for your freedom. Today is the day of salvation. We, I am blessed. He blessed me on the cross. And he can bless you and set you free too. You want to receive freedom today, healing today? Amen.